Welcome back friends. I have a van tour for you today. Before I get into that, I need to go over a couple of important little background information about this build. So first things first, I just want to clarify that I did not build this van. This was the van that Joey had been working on in Arizona and so he just finished it up. Um, he came out here to my shop in San Diego for the last few weeks so all that I really helped with was some finishing stuff but he is the builder behind this particular van. I have been working on a client build myself. If you guys have been watching my channel, then you've probably seen a few videos from that. Um, I'm still working on that one, but I only have a few more weeks, and then of course I will film a tour of that one for you guys as well. So this van was built specifically for a young travel nurse. We're really excited to be able to give her this little home. When the COVID outbreak happened in March, there was definitely a decline in travel, definitely no need for travel at that time. However, there was an increase in need for isolated housing for our healthcare workers that were on the front line of this pandemic. A lot of great things about van life, but one potential benefit for some people is that it can be an affordable housing solution. And we recognized a need for that, um, especially with travel nurses and just frontline workers in general during this time. Um, and again, having the added benefit of having like an isolated, comfortable space, being able to comfortably travel between assignments and so on. So rather than choosing any client for this time frame in our schedule, we decided to find a travel nurse that would directly benefit from having something like this. And we were able to offer this custom build at a highly discounted rate just to lower that bar a little bit and make it more accessible. Really quickly, I want to give a huge thanks to Battleborn and Havelock for both contributing to this project, and I will touch on that more later, but for now, let's get into the tour. I am filming solo today, and I do not have my wide-angle lens, so I apologize for those limitations if some of the camera work is maybe not the best, but I'm just going to do the absolute best I can with the equipment that I have right now. So here on the passenger side of the van is where we have the kitchen. Her stovetop here is a Ramblewood propane stovetop and it's got a tempered glass bottom, really sleek looking. On this end of the kitchen, we also have a pop-up countertop to just extend that kitchen space even more. Gives her a lot of room for food prep and she can even use this uh, countertop extension as a table when she's sitting in her passenger seat swiveled around. Right below her stove, we have a little Isotherm 85 refrigerator and freezer. Next to that, we have a little slide out pantry here. So that slides all the way out and gives you a lot of additional food storage. And then right on top of that, there's a little silverware drawer that pulls out. Before I move towards the back any further, I'm just going to quickly go over the bathroom. We also have a built-in toilet into this wet room. It is actually a composting system. So the top portion that where the toilet seat sits actually removes and there is a collection bucket down there with a urine diverting system. Let's just be honest for a second guys, if you've lived in a van and you don't have a way to poop and you're not in the wilderness, running around the city trying to find a public bathroom or somewhere you can go, not ideal. So this option, uh, in my opinion, is a must. So I just kind of flipped you guys around to the other side of the van. So bathroom is over here and then right behind that is some closet space. So she actually has room where she can hang some clothes here and then another one down below here. Um, and there's a little slide out drawer that you can, she can use for laundry. Gives her lots of storage, especially for bigger items. Right behind that, she has some dresser space. So this has, um, you know, this gives her extra countertop space in addition to what she already has over here. And then it has four nice big drawers, all of these latched with really heavy duty latches. So now we're making our way to the back of the van. And this van has what everybody loves, a skylight. This is the Dometic Hecky Midi 2. It's not easy to find, but it's really nice. It has a bug screen that goes that way. And the other way has a blackout cover. It does have three different settings, so you can actually open it. The skylight is an awesome option when you wanna have a lot of extra natural light coming in, but don't wanna have a ton of windows around the outside. That helps keep this back area feel nice and open and bright. In the back of the van, we have a U-bench set up. So we've got plumbing over here in this one, we've got electrical in this one, but there's also a lot of space like in the back area for her to access storage. Over on the driver's side, we have a little CRL half slider window, so she can open that up, get some additional ventilation. So between having this thing open, that thing open, having the fan running, this van gets a lot of cross ventilation, which helps a lot with climate control. We've also got a little table here on a lagoon mount, so she can basically just pull this wherever she is sitting. 
push it out of the way. And then to make the bed, what she would do is actually pull this off of the Lagoon table mount. So it just has like little lever systems. So you just slide it up off of there. And then the table would go in between these two benches. And then there is an additional piece that is stored behind the driver's seat that just finishes off the length of this. And then you would remove this middle cushion here and then pull these two bigger ones to the middle. And then the side cushions here come down on the sides. And this is somewhere in between a queen and a king. So it's the length of a king bed um, and just under the width of a king bed. So a little closer to a queen. She also has upper cabinet storage along both sides of the van. So these open up, they're all on gas struts and then they close and latch. In this little upper cabinet right here is her control center. So this is where she can monitor her batteries, turn on her inverter. Uh, she's got a water gauge here so that she can see when she needs to fill up her water tank. Has the remote for her vent fan and then also has two switches here. Those are connected to the ball valves on both of the gray tanks. So there are two gray tanks. There's one for the kitchen side and then one for the shower side. This is essentially the guts of the van, her electrical system. So I just wanna really quickly run you through the specs for those of you who might be interested. So she has three 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries from Battleborn. She has a 3000 watt Victron MultiPlus inverter charger, 300 watts of Renogy solar panels on the roof, but also charges from the vehicle alternator uh, because of this battery isolation manager right here. As a third option, she can plug into shore power, which is the benefit of having an inverter charger. Having several ways to charge is really important because if one thing fails, uh, you wanna make sure that you have at least one if not two backups so that you don't just run out of power. When we started this whole project, which we called the Health Heroes Project, I reached out to Battleborn to see if they would be willing to contribute to help us lower the cost for our travel nurse that we're building this for. And they were more than willing to help and we just have to give a massive thank you to them. We have trusted their batteries and their team in all of our client builds. Having an electrical system and batteries that you can rely on, especially when you're living full-time in a van, is so, so, so important. Their technical team is very helpful when it comes to troubleshooting or even just setting your stuff up. So even if you're doing a DIY build, um, I think it's really helpful to be purchasing products and working with a company that's actually willing to help you so that if you run into something, you're not just completely SOL. So once again, huge thank you to Battleborn for uh, contributing to this project and just helping us bring the whole project to fruition. Well, I think that is pretty much going to do it for today's tour. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. If you guys are interested in watching the van that I've been building, um, I had to take a little break from making videos of that to help Joey finish up this one, but I will be back to doing that so you can see what I've been working on there. And then stay tuned for a tour of that one. Until then, I will see you guys. Thank you again for watching and subscribe if you feel like it.